Let's go to uh, a campaign, uh, Garbage Out. That's the hashtag. Uh, Armstrong Alugbe is in Accra here, a suburb called Choco. He's been talking to the people there about sanitation. Run away Let's because they be captured on the camera because they know what they are doing is illegal and that they don't want to be seen defecating here openly. This morning, I want to engage some uh, individuals who stay around, teachers and then people who say they are the authorities here. Let's talk to them and find out. They live close by. How is this open, openly def defecating here affecting them? Quickly, let me talk to these two young men you see here. They are teachers, okay? And they, their school is not far from the beach. And they tell me that the situation here is that bad, that they want something to be done about it. Later on, I'll talk to other people who also claim are the authorities here. Let's talk to you. Uh, you are live on TV3. Okay, uh, my name is Desmond and I okay. teach within this municipality. Okay. Um, open defecation here is, I think, is on the increase, and I think because there are no toilet facilities around, and when this happens, the schools nearby they are predisposed to certain ailments like cholera and all other allied ailments. So I think that something should be done. I think a drastic measure should be taken to save the peoples around. Yes. But you say you teach here. Yes, please. Uh, how does that affect your school? Where, where your school is? Well, the school is uh, along the top regions, and then. Um, Normally, the, the direct effect it has is on the, the smell, it's the physics emanates. And then um, I think when the children are learning, it really affects them. Most times they complain about the saints and then at times we have to shift the classes because of the proximity to this area. So we have to shift them. And then the canteen also happens to be very close by. So that means they'll have to take measures to cover the food so that they will not get cholera outbreak. So, these are some of the effects it has directly on the school and on the pupils as a whole. Very well. Now, let me talk to other teacher who is also here. So, you two, you are also a teacher here? Yes, I teach here. Okay. So, what's the issue about the opening people coming here to openly defecate? Yeah, it's very bad. Se uh, ever since I came here, in the morning, we will come and see them squatting in the gutters at the beach and they will be defecating. And I think uh, the authorities have to put in measures, like punitive actions, so that they will deal with such perpetrators, because it's being rampant in this community, mm. and the youth are picking up. So I think there should be drastic measures to this, and it is affecting schools around and some of the people living around, uh, uh, leading them to sicknesses like uh, cholera and also have you. Very well. Okay, but I hope your school has a, a, a toilet for the students. Yes, we have. We you have, have a toilet facility? Yes, we have for boys, girls, staff and uh, visitors. Very well. So, these are two teachers who uh, teach not too far from the beach. Now, this man you see here tells me he's one of the authorities here. And that I can't come here without talking to him. Now, let's engage him. Boss, you said you are an authority here. Oh, I'm an elder person You're here. You're an elder person here? Yes. Look at the beach. Oh. What do you make of the beach? What, what do you think about this place? Uh, the place is not good because mm. uh, so far as we're in such a community and so far as hygiene is concerned, here has to be a proper place where human beings should have lived and have a better health. Mm. Okay, very well. What's your name? My name is Peter Godfrey Coffee. Do you guys have toilets at your homes? No, we don't have. Here we don't have. And even You mean found, you, do, you also don't have? I don't have. So where do you defecate? Uh, the only place where we go is... Even at night or even in the morning, if it's coming, then we put it somewhere. Where, where somewhere? Uh, the place is the beach. The beach? Yes. Is it proper? Uh, it's not proper. The real reason is that we are not having a toilet here. So many facilities are not, we are not having here. Mm. And because of that, as human beings, you cannot contain such a thing in your room. Are you so, a landlord or a tenant? I'm not. Uh, I'm a tenant here. Okay, so you mean the house where you are, there's no uh, toilet facility to there for you? We are not having any. How many are you living in the house? Uh, I, I am with my child. In oh, no, I'm talking about how many tenants do you have in the house? Uh, I'm in living in such a, a small place mm. whereby I alone and my child are okay. living. And uh, you, your child, your wife, you all come to defecate here? Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely that even in the afternoons, at times when we have some place, we get to go. Mm. But in the night, Imagine that if it's coming, you will be here. You'll be here? Yes. Because you don't have any other place? You don't have any other place. We are not having toilet facilities here. And even the one that people used to build so that we can go there to pay also, we are not having. Mm. 
In fact, things here are very difficult. That imagine the rubbish that we are just putting here. It's, you also you also put your rubbish here. Yes, we put here. We all here. Because we are not having a rubbish can whereby we can put the rubbish even for a week or uh, some days that the cow will come and take it. Mm. So if you are not having such a, a, a such a maybe cans to be putting such rubbish in, what will we do? We cannot contain such rubbish in our rooms. So definitely we will come and pour it here. So you think the beach is the right place for you to come and dump your refuse? Is that what you're saying? It's not. It's it, not it, the right place okay. for us. Let me talk we to you. We know all this apparition of the sea. Mm. We exactly know. But we are not having the facilities. We have to be bring all the, such rubbish cans. We have to have it so that we can dump them in. But if you are not having anything like that, my brother, what will you do? Can we contain such rubbish in our rooms? That's so a, we, are pray, we, we are praying for the government to come in so that sightings facilities will be bring on to us so that we also our community we are not we we are not comfortable of our community okay but the facilities are not there to help us so we pray we are praying with you as you have been here we are praying with you that when you get up there inform them so that they may come and help us we need the help you need help come and aid us. yes okay so this man says they need help here at the beach because they don't have a uh, uh, a, a container here for them to be dumping their refuse into and also they don't have public toilet facilities here for them to go and defecate themselves so these are the only place they have to come and defecate themselves let me talk to this uh, you other young man who i saw here also early this morning boss yeah well you're fine mm. no okay mini ya no be any okay got any oje no no get here me akwa me sometimes say no baba around oba na ke mete toilete be e ke ni bi na so much here got time no ni ba na kan ji o na ke me ni around fe Tafla toilet ko ba run o na be ni chowo tafla che bo mu zuwa mole me be ba fu gbe mi ni ya side dan ni ya ni ya so she eje me o be peer sometimes say be no na ke insure na be e fen fe basa ka bo ko ba ni all the time a clean be e in be sure ke mo ba so she a ke e ya ni ami e be o na o e ni me yan o nu mi she ni ya ni be e na fe fine o na tafla che wo so mo fali fali ji sometimes say o na ke be ni be fe o na ke Boko Villa can do where I know. Le onu mi shine ke walen bade ba fe ni ni ba na ni boko wa ba somi ona be ni chon shikaji man bi governmenti a me na ba na fe wa wa ke walen ba ubi ni tapla ya sana poverty toilet bi ni ona kona bi a kan shifan ya wo e fan ya ke ke bi a kan shie me ni ba je me ni ba je village na ba ba bi ni onu mi shamba na ke wo ni bi a fan shikaji je na ke ona ke jamu ba sa wo gan me wo fe wo ye bi ni so let me talk to the very last man standing so that uh, we we'll move on from here boss no bon ke in be ni kwan se be no mi o kwa ta mi e yeah yeah mi ye je me e ja ke ta fla je wo bi ni fe public toilet ko kwa bi e no ke o ba so shi e ko kwa bi o kwa bi be sani o ka ngbe shi e ko ta mi no o je gbo ka ngbe shi e ko ta je be no je be no eh anu kwa le lo ba ye Mm. I'm told that police officers come here to get them arrested all the time, but of course they cannot stop defecating here because, I mean, they have no other place to go to than to resort to the beach to openly defecate. And it's not just the defecating that takes place here, all over the beach, all the way from, I'm told, uh, is it Chemwena? All the, all the way from Chemwena to this place, the whole place is filthy. And they are asking the authorities to come to their aid by providing them with public toilets and also containers for them to dump their refuse. Over to you in the studio. The hashtag is garbage out and act and stop someone from uh, indiscriminately dumping refuse or doing what is unthinkable. You can be part of the conversation with us. But uh, Dr. Pesawabi, I mean, sanitation is a huge challenge. I mean, open defecation is common all around. Yes, and there is always a temptation to think that it is um, indiscipline on the part of the individuals perpetuating the act. 
whilst there may be some iota of credibility in that, I think a larger, there is a larger institutional and environmental question also that is, I mean, li linked to policy. Um, nature's calls do not require visas to arrive. Mm. I mean, when you are called by nature, you don't need visa. If you look at the age of some of the people who were interviewed in the, in the, in the documentary or the short video that was shown, mm. these are elderly people who I'm sure have um, great sense of decency and when provided with the best of amenities will not go and openly defecate. Mm. As it is now, it is clear that it is the absence of those particular uh, um, and and this is not limited to the the coastal areas. Actually, right. an ancient town like Dodoa mm. doesn't have decent and dignifying toilets. The same applies to Doyumu, Ayukuma, Kodiabe, Asuchuare, Osuwe, and almost all the villages that surround. I mean, some of these communities. Mm. Neither do they have good roads, nor do they have water. And so we need to ask ourselves, what are we doing wrong? Some of these things must be rightly taken care of by the assemblies. Okay. And when we say it must be taken care of by the assemblies, it does not necessarily mean that assembly has to be in direct construction or provision. All right. But how is the assembly able to persuade but first of all, to articulate the nature of the problem and persuade people with business interests so that they can see business opportunities in, in some of these areas and move in. In the world today, garbage is no longer waste. Garbage is a resource. Mm. In fact, in some countries, they are importing garbage because recycling has become a big business. That nothing, nothing actually goes waste anymore because everything can be turned around and turned into reusable resource. Mm. And so it is important that we begin to think along these lines. And, and this, this is an issue that I believe that, again, requires that the governments must pay attention to the essence of human dignity, matters of poverty, and matters of, I mean, things like places of decency mm. must be taken very seriously, unless and until we do that. All these people we have shown in the video, I'm sure if there are toilet facilities in the area, and they are supposed to pay just 10 pesos or 20 pesos, mm. they will go. But in some places that were, I mean, you find facilities there, but they claim uh, it's not decent enough. Well, For that's the thing. In Elmina, some of them said uh, when you, you enter the, the facility, you, you come out smelling. Of course, but and so that's don't. why I mentioned some communities and I said that there is no decent, I mean, public facilities there mm. for toilets. In most of those places, you are better off going to do it somewhere else than in that facility because it's a health hazard. The kind of stench that will be on your, your person after you visit the place and come out, and the fact that you're spending a few minutes in there, mm -hmm. you inhale this thing into your system, in itself has an implication to your health and an implication to our health budget. Because when you fall sick and you go to the hospital, you become, uh, if you have, a, I mean, the health card, for instance, then you become uh, a cost on the, on the health budget. We need to develop the linkages between all these things. Mm -hmm. Because you can't be solving one and leave the other. You need to tackle sanitation water. When you tackle sanitation water, it will reduce your... Your health, bed, uh, your, 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 your health bill, sanitation, water, education. These are three great social programs that if you tackle them well, you will be solving other problems that otherwise your bill is ballooning. So we need to go to, I mean, again, uh, the basis of human essence. Mm. Tackle poverty, tackle ignorance, tackle diseases, and you will see that people will be in a position to, take, to make informed choices on their own. Okay.